So lots of talk about when schools are likely to return, but what's happening with colleges? What about all those 15 and 16-year-olds who were forced to leave prematurely with their exams cancelled? Uh, James Staniforth is principal of the Shrewsbury Colleges Group. James, good morning. Good morning. It must be a tough time for those school leavers, knowing what to do. It's a bit of an anticlimax here. They've built themselves up for this and then that's it. Yeah, we've got a huge amount of sympathy uh, for those students because... Um, Everything that they were they were sort of working out on the next sort of three or four months uh, back in March has all has all changed. But we've got a really clear message, which is that you know we're their college and we're here to help them. Um, we'd already got huge numbers of applications that have come in from from students for next year. We've carried on with our interview process, so that's been done um, online or over the phone um, to make sure students got really good advice and guidance about what they'll go on and study. Um, we we talked with the schools quite early on. And they were worried about year 11s and, uh, and keeping them engaged in education. So for all of our subjects, all our A-levels and all our vocational courses, we um, we produced some transition materials um, to help students sort of uh, stay stay thinking about the courses that they'd, they'd be going on to study. Put them up on our website. And in April alone, we had 2,500 hits on that. So we've been trying to make sure that there's things there for, for young people still to do. What about college places? Because they often depend on GCSE grades. So what's happening with that? Because the exams have been cancelled. Well, all all students are still getting um, grades. They're, they're called centre assessed grades, and schools uh, are working really hard at the moment on um, looking at what they think the, the likely result would have been for for a, st- uh, for a student in year eleven in each of their GCSEs. They'll be submitting those to the exam boards and the exam boards will then look statistically at, at where they would fit, uh, bearing in mind the performance of each school over the last three years and they'll do a moderation process and then they will publish um, grades for the students as planned in August. What we're saying to our partner schools um, is that that could lead to, to perhaps some some slight anomalies and therefore they should just let us know if they've got um, if they've got any concerns because we'll continue to work with them as we always do, which is that where things don't make make sense for whatever reason, um, the heads will talk to us and t- tell us that a student should have perhaps had slightly higher grades, and we'll make allowances when we're um, we're looking at what courses are right for students come August and September. As far as the Shrewsbury Colleges Group, what is what's the plan with you from September? How how will the college reopen? Well, I mean that that's quite a long way <laughs> ahead, isn't it? And it's uh, there's a lot of things that need to happen before then. Like like schools, we've been asked to think about wider reopening. I mean, we're open at the moment because we've got um, students uh, coming in every, every day and working with our, our great staff to make sure that they've got a safe pay, place to, to be and mm. to study. Um, our next step is that we're, we're, we've made the move over to sort of remote home learning really successfully. Um, and we've got We've got huge numbers of students who are, are really, really well engaged. We've got a really small number, less than 100 out of our sort of uh, 1,600 students that uh, we're working with in year 12 that are less well engaged. So our first step will be to bring those uh, those students in, um, but it will be it will be step by step so that we can work out how best to to manage the campus um, with the with the measures that we'll need to put in place. And then come September, we've got two plans. We've got a plan which is um, if we're um, working as as, as normal, uh, and we've got a plan if we've got to be carrying on to do some form of, of home learning alongside some some learning on on campus. And how's the home study going? I think it's going really well. I mean, we're we're obviously concerned about about households that might not have access to the internet or access to a laptop for for a young person to use, and um, we've distributed more than a hundred laptops. To, to individual students where they wouldn't be able to study without without some form of, of support. Um, we've got teachers who are running their, their normal classes. So if you've got a class at 8.50 this morning in maths or psychology, you'll, you'll go and log on and that normal class will, will run uh, on Microsoft Teams. Um, we've got staff who were streaming lessons. We're carrying on um, setting work, marking work, giving feedback. Some of that's working even better than normal because students are getting much more instant feedback um, from the work that they're, that they're doing. I think we've had to learn really quickly. It's been learning by immersion. Um, 
rather than sort of the planning that we might have done over a year or something like that for, for this type of activity if we if we thought this was something that the, that we might be doing. But our students have been brilliant. Our, our staff have been brilliant. Uh, na- yesterday was National um, Thank a Teacher Day and, uh, you know, I was... I emailed all our staff and I got comments from students, uh, you know, that was just so grateful for, for the way in which people had, had been so flexible in responding to all of this. Um, and as I say, the overwhelming majority of our students, I think, are have coped really well with, with what is a really, really challenging and difficult set of circumstances for them. You couldn't have you couldn't have looked, planned for this, could you at all? I mean, it just just like you know, in education and for everybody else, it just, this just came out of the blue. You can't plan for something like this. No, and I was thinking, um, I mean, I was doing my GCSEs in 1988, my A-levels in 1990, and I was thinking about what would have happened in those circumstances because, of course, technology is what's enabled us to to support people um, so much better than, than we'd have had that ability to do, going back what is now a long time, I, I recognise, for, for when I was studying. Um, you know, you'd have been reliant on the post, wouldn't you? Printing off huge <laughs> you can't, reams. Of, of you can't paper. imagine doing that, then, can you? Really? No, no. And <laughs> so you'd be receiving something, wouldn't you, by the post, and then posting it back to your teacher, and then waiting to get some feedback on it. Whereas, you know, today, as I say, uh, we've got so many uh, different ways of being able to do uh, instant online assessment, um, and that's before you've got the students just normally sending through essays and filming themselves doing practical assessments, which which teachers are able to to look at, assess, and give some feedback really quickly. Yeah. And what did the young James Staniforth want to do with his life in 1988? Oh gosh, 1988. I probably wanted to be a lawyer. Um, but by the time it was 1990, I was finishing my A-levels, uh, I realised that history was what I loved, and that's what I went on to do at university. Oh, you're a historian, are you? Yeah. yeah. What, if so, you could be, very briefly, if you could be a fly on the wall, which period of history would you want to go back and revisit? Oh, what a really interesting question. Um, I don't know. War of the Roses, really quite interested in that. Some of the stuff in Elizabethan time, quite like to be in some of the rooms that Stalin was in and understand some of the decisions made in the Soviet Union. Oh, listen to you. Yeah, you've got a few options there then, James. Lovely to talk to you. Keep safe. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, thanks ever so much.